Did it go off? I don't know how to turn it on. I had it on, I thought. It's just being persnickety. There we go. So before we even started um, with with the uh, guided meditation, I was immediately surrounded by ocean. I was in the oh. ocean, <laughs> underwater. and uh, Two steps ahead. Yeah, I love it. And uh, I found a silver chest. It was really sparkly, shiny silver. Opened it up, and there wasn't anything in it, but the lining of it was a red garnet mm. carved out, fitting perfectly Wow. With, within that. There was way so much during the guided meditation. I didn't go with you guys. <laughs> and you're welcome to go wherever you want, take a nap, it's all good. <laughs> but I took off and I, <coughs> next thing I know I was going up a riverbed and then the, the water was disappearing. All I could see was rock, but I was moving faster and faster and faster and faster and was taken up into the mountains <laughs> and shown the mountains. I don't even have a clue and then the next thing I was brought right back it was really startling it came I came out of the meditation way before you guys were done so hmm. so mountains often represent well they can represent a couple things one thing they represent is challenge mm -hmm. a challenge coming oh, your wow. way they can also represent um, bedrock solidness yeah to me they uh, mean strength yeah so this is letting you know that whatever you are experiencing, mm -hmm. you have the strength to face it. Okay. Um, you know, that sounds a little ominous. We have strength to face yeah. some challenge coming. No, but I think it's letting you know you're stronger than you think you are. Okay. You know, um, sometimes that strength isn't for our own benefit, but for others. Yes, absolutely. And that you can, you can lend that strength or you can share that strength with someone else who might be exactly struggling right now. Exactly what I'm going through. Exactly. Wonderful. And then this, this silver chest that was lined with garnet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is asking you to open up and show people your heart. Okay. I got show it. Show your true color. Show people who you really are. Okay. Because this is going to help them be strong. Okay. I got Does it. Does that make Thank sense? Absolutely. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Anybody else? Any other comments? Questions? Oh, wow. Oh, come on. <laughs> Here. Story of the day. A landslide? Pass the microphone over. No, I'm, well, I'm just asking, what would a landslide be? I know, but we need the microphone for the thing. <laughs> just in case I need to ask you additional questions. So, a landslide could be, could be a couple of things. You know, the phrase, he won by a landslide. You know, it could be a whole bunch of, of uh, approval and encouragement. It could be things moving fast and... and could be um, it feels like things moving really faster than you can comprehend does that make sense to you does that does that feel right to you I was thinking more of um, a part of me is letting something go oh that would see fast and it's a fast just get it out of the way. You bet. That would fit right in there. Good for you. Okay. So let me uh, let me tell you about the colors of the. Oh, did you want to have a question? Microphone. <laughs> it's just the people on YouTube want to hear what's going on too. Just a little bit. Then we should whisper so they'll have to listen more. <laughs> <laughs> There's something evil about you. I like it. <laughs> So this isn't about my meditation, but it's just a, what I've noticed. There are a lot of daddy long legs this year. Do you know what that symbolizes? Um, when you said that, the first thing I flashed on is I was hiking once, um, and there was this rock, and underneath this rock was kind of movement. I glanced in there. It was just teeming with daddy long legs. Totally freaked me out, and they were jumping up and down. Um... So I do not know what Daddy Long Legs specifically mean. I'd have to look it up in, uh, I think Ted Andrews has a wonderful book. But to give you off the cuff what I'm getting about it, um, it's about the ability to gently step lightly, uh, going where you want to go, effortlessly, easily, um, and community, mm. being together. And if you don't get the torch stuff, no. <laughs> 
that well, make sense? It does, and I was reading an article on them on Facebook, and they have the ability, if, if they're in a situation where they're stuck, they can actually release a leg, and they can release up to three legs and still be able to get around. <laughs> so letting go? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so if you're seeing a lot of a lot of daddy long legs specifically, then you may be asked to let go of some stuff that has been important to you in the past, but doesn't need to serve you anymore. If you've been feeling stuck, <coughs> this is giving you the opportunity to let go of that stuckness. Yes, I have a huge. Um, experience I went through that um, is calling for compassion on my part and to be compassionate. So in my meditation on when I was walking on the uh, bottom of the ocean there was a, a chest, a wooden chest with gold around it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't open it until I got to the surface again and on the sand. And when I opened it, it was this vibrant uh, light coming out of it and just going up into the universe. And it was so bright, I could barely see it, look at it. And then when I, and the chest stayed there the whole meditation. And then when I got in my sacred place, I had um, a pyramid-shaped clear crystal. And what I left was a cross. Okay, so this chest that was filled with light, how it relates to the situation where you're, you're being called to have a lot of compassion. If you don't have enough, this chest has more than enough compassion to put on that situation for you. So you don't have to use all of yours. There's more that you can access. Because this situation may require more compassion than is humanly possible. Because you're a very compassionate person. So you, you can apply additional stuff that's been being gifted to you for that purpose. Um, and then you received, say again, uh, pyramid. a pyramid, a clear quartz pyramid. So this is, pyramids are about power and the power of clarity. So you can be clear and be powerful about this situation. Does that make sense to you? Um, and then leaving the cross, this is your faith is going to carry you through. This is about your faith. You don't have to sacrifice. The sacrifice has been made. You can add, ask that sacrifice <laughs> to cover that for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then your faith is about you and Divine Source walking forward from here. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Thank you. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Anybody else? Last call. One more. How's your headache, by the way? Much better. Good. Um, gone. <laughs> um, so what I noticed was that I didn't have a dolphin. I had a um, mermaid, a male mermaid, oh. and um, the other thing that stood out was that I was in like a kind of like a, a white cotton nightgown prairie dress weird Fun. thing. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, airy. Yeah, air, yeah, like airy. And um, I received a clear crystal with a picture of a like a crab or something in the bottom. You could see th like through the crystal to something on the bottom. And uh, there was a waterfall in there as well, like in the back in the in the cove, oh, like the, wow. the one hey. we went to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that was beautiful. Yeah. So that's all I, and, and at the end, uh, what I found in the sand was a, uh, a pearl. Mm. Pearl of great price, which yeah, is wisdom. wisdom. So wisdom is coming for you. You're going to be granted with a new measure of wisdom about a, a, a whatever issue. 
um, this clear, whatever, clear crystal, and then you can see the crab underneath. Um, this is being able to clearly see situations and clearly see that you're protected. Um, crabs are about being able to protect themselves. They mm -hmm. have those pincher. They can bring food to themselves. They can um, they can protect themselves. So this is about self care. So you're going to clearly see how to take care of yourself in a in a new measure, in a new way. That's really a blessing for you. And what did you leave? I you know I don't remember what I left. That's okay. I, yeah. Yeah. This process that we do doesn't really access the um, short-term memory. Yeah. So if we're not conscious and we don't put it there, then it just kind of goes away. So that's okay. Um, and then again, the pearl, you know, this is going to grant you wisdom. You can receive that. Would Does that it, make sense? Yes. What about the mermaid? I mean, that... Oh, um, that's just your, your choice of fun things to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not, right? <coughs> All right. Sorry. Um, Mr. Phil.